haven't managed to do too much in the morning. So uh, while I was waiting for my husband to go pray at the Al Hazar Mosque, um, I decided to order some food for lunch. I don't know what it's going to be like, but it seems quite reasonable for uh, Egyptian standard. And it looks like um, lots of people are ordering food. I'm glad I'm upstairs because he came and took my order. Otherwise, it looks like people are downstairs ordering food at the till and all of that and paying for it. And it seems extremely busy down there. Maybe they're taking, getting takeaways and stuff. There is a pizza counter out, this, out of the street as well. Or is it the rap counter? My Baba Ganesh has arrived and the bread is freshly made in the As with all Egyptian food, it's um, it's very salty, but it's very tasty at the same time. It's one of the tasty meals in, in Egypt. So I hope the rest of the food comes nice as well. This naan is the best one we've had in Egypt. And the Baba Ganesh was pretty cheap as well, just um, 10 Egyptian pounds. My fish has arrived and it's arrived with um, a batter fried. He did ask me if I wanted it fried or... Um, no, he did ask me if I wanted it fried and I said yes. I should have said grow. But um, let's see what it's like. It feels quite um, flaky and soft inside, not, not dry. Quite hot as well. It is, it is very tasty and it's very nice, very flaky, very soft fish inside. Very, very hot though. It's the third good meal we've had in Egypt. I think Egyptians have a lot of salt in their food. So I find everything very, very salty. Um, and for some reason they like to eat cold food. So these chips are cold. Which is not fun at all. Let's see what the soup is like. It's got rice. It's a rice and some vegetables, carrots and onions. It's a, it's a meat stock soup and it's very oily and very fatty and not really very hot, warm it. Just, just warm, not hot. And I don't really like that one. Let's see, sort of lemon makes a difference. Lemon does improve the flavor a bit, but um, still it's very fatty and oily. This place seems to be very popular with Egyptians and locals, and it's been very, very busy the whole time we've been sitting here. And as we got up from our table and chairs, somebody was already waiting to fill that space. So yeah, the food's been very good, the service's been quick. Um, the soup wasn't very nice, but apart from that, everything else was very good.
This looks very interesting as well. Maybe we'll come back later and have it. This place is called Gad? Just Gad. Jad. Jad. Gad. Gad or Jad. And um, it's right next to, very close to Al-Azhar Al Mosque. So if you guys hear, the food's really good here. mosque now after lunch and the Friday prayers are finished so it's very quiet and the best thing in Egypt if we come here we have to have a few every day um, and this one is very close to the Al Azhar Mosque as well this glass, this huge big glass is only 3 Egyptian pounds so yeah we've been having quite a lot of these this is a mother pill come from Red Sea okay? uh, we get different color of mother pill we get blue we get this is this colors. This colors is very hard to find. Every hundred kilo of this, you find one of two kilo. That's why this blue madrapel sometimes used for ringing, for earring. You understand? For mm -hmm. necklace. This is not in the market. This is only five stars hotel. Can you see by your eyes here? This is all the Chinese yes. because it's not. If you look at here, that's a market and that's a original. So the market would be how much in this one? This one we sell here for 25. And this one? This one we sell here 370. Mm. This type of one, you see? This one is nice as well. This. Look at it here. Cool. This is before finish. Uh, uh, can you see? Can you imagine how many pieces inside here? Mm. So they, they make the outside and then they fill it with. This is the line, the camel bone, and then you put the stuff in there. The mother yes. pill inside. Yeah. Touch yeah. it. Yes, yes. The bone of the cam camel? camel. Or oh, the skeleton. Right. Once it's died. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Camel bone. That's why, why. Why use camel bone? Because camel bone is natural and you stay forever. And from grand family, he used the camel bone in a mosque. You understand? If you see in, in a member, you know member. Mm -hmm. If you look at in a member, you find in a member have mother pearl and camel bone. Wow. We try to work like them, like to be like antique. Mm -hmm. okay. Three hundred seventy Egyptian pound. Three hundred seventy Egyptian pound, and yes. this is twenty five Egyptian. Twenty five Egyptian pound. Look at that. It is original. It is now original. Mm -hmm. Can you see? You understand? Yeah. I put it from this size too. 
there's no difference. Very good. Oh, you're welcome to enjoy. I would like to take this from you and pay you the money. Would that be okay? Yes. Yes, that would be. This is the one you said. We found this gentleman uh, next to the juice shop, and he's brought us to his. Um, Factory. We also yeah. wanted to sell holds. So you understand? I mean, we really like this one, and he was showing us the price, but then um, I don't think he's um, prepared you to sell us this? the cheaper one. He just wanted us to buy the more expensive this one. From this one? He showed us um, yeah. our, his stuff, but he. You know what? This way, it's happening as a factory. Maybe, like my father here, maybe you find people sell by one, you understand? Oh, okay. We sell yeah. here holds. Let me show you. Okay. Hmm. No problem. Um, he was selling the more expensive one, the mother of pearl ones, um, um, the individual ones, but the cheaper one he wasn't prepared to sell. So now he's showing us a different, um, he's showing us a, a different uh, factory. We walk through the back streets of Cairo as well, following this shop who was trying to sell us the mother of pearl. Meat at its freshest. Whichever one you want, they'll prepare it for you. And this is the refrigeration process. It's preparing pickles. I think he's going to pickle all of these as well. Oh, there's buckets full here. And I think this process has started already. We only came in to have a look, but we ended up buying two of these. But these are quite unusual, because when, when you switch the light off, it glows in the dark, but the inside thing is different. They, they either glow in the dark, or they completely change what's in the, underneath it. So. We've, we've bought two from here, and he, this guy is a very good businessman. Me here. Yes, this ah, guy is a very good businessman. Welcome <laughs> so, to Egypt. Yeah, thank you. And um, it's very difficult to find this if you don't know. So do you have your card or something? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. We have a card, yes. Okay. We'll put it online. Yes. Okay. We'll come to your shop. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome home. <laughs> he's Welcome a, he's made us buy two. We only wanted to buy one. <laughs> You are a businessman. Yes. A businessman. Very, very good businessman. <laughs> and they, apparently they make it all handmade on papyrus here. Yes. So. Stop for yet another sugar cane juice stop. And it's the smallest of street, but that doesn't stop the cars coming through here. Humans and cars that coexist on the smallest of Egyptian streets. We've come to Sultan Al Rafai Mosque, Al Rafai Mosque, um, but this mosque is not um, a working mosque as such. It's, um, it's mainly for tourism but now it's too too late to go in. Um, they close at 4, 4.30 something like that. Um, today hasn't been a really fruitful day I'm afraid. Um, nothing that we planned worked out as such. Tomorrow hopefully we'll go and see the Cairo Museum and that's all the plan is for tomorrow. We were going to see Cairo Museum today but then since we were quite late um, we decided not to go that way because we wouldn't have had a whole day there. So tomorrow we'll go to Cairo Museum and um, have a look at it. So I'll sign off here and I'll see you tomorrow. This is um, Sultan Muhammad Ali Mosque and when we're going into the citadel, walking up to the mosque itself, there's another mosque and there's two mosques here, there's another one I can see there and there are two ancient ones here. 
um, Al Rafahi and Sultan Hassan Mosque. What I don't understand is why would anybody need that many mosques in such close vicinity to each other?